Ah, look at that viewers, I'll just do this WFCS. Yeah, it's on zero. Okay. Hang on. Clamp here, Mr. Clampy. <laughs> 60 amps. Sixty-five amps around there. That'd be all right. It's not going to hurt it. All right. Exactly one kilowatt hour. She's a moving. Well, that disc is very straight. That's good. Nineteen seventy-six. It was recalibrated. Now there is one meter here. This time switch. There's a bit of a confusion here. One hundred. Is that the recalibration here, meaning the U2000 or what? Interesting. Never seen that before. Hmm, might have been something different on that one. So far, so good. Hey, so far, so good. Keeping up neck and neck. And the indicator for the load wheel, like this line here, is this top of this logo. I like how I made the top of the logo, the pointer, like on this meter. The line, the black mark on the load wheel on. That's sort of cool. I like how to use a logo for that. Now, WFES and WFV look the same. I don't think there's much difference between the two from what I can see here. Yep, give me that. Nice and smooth running. Looks like there's both this WFES down here and this WFES from what I can say the same person must have calibrated them. So it's got the same handwriting on these stickers here. 0 to 0 slash 5. Looks like it's written by the same person. Because the handwriting looks identical on both those labels. There you go. This serial number is only two apart from the one before it. 236 8, 7, 5, 5 on that one. 757. Two, two apart. This one's made two metres after the previous one that I've got. Which is this one coming up next. They're two production numbers apart from the production line. Nice. Now we're going to Yep, looking good. A bit offline there the camera, but there we go. This looks way out of whack now. Ah oh well, you get the idea. So where the camera's face, I've got to make some room here. Now after I lay my just tripod a little better. Almost there. Another 100 watt hours ago, and it's there on the mark. Beautiful. Look at that needle move. Look at that. It is spot on. Clock. There's a stop on the video. There we are. It's accurate. Okay, clean out quite well. As you can see, it's this type with a flat back and a big hook and the hollow pieces in the bottom here. Look at those variants, eh? Most instruments are exactly the same, but it's got these little variants. Email had this too. It had the hollow piece on the bottom, and not that stripey on the back. Mm, must have been made in a different factory then, I reckon. I don't know. That one cleaned up very well. Enough for now. Thanks for watching.